Hello, precious standards. How are you wonderful people of God? It is Lakidra. I have come on here to empower you and to encourage you to fight the good fight of faith. And many of you all may be saying, oh, Lakidra, you know, I'm tired. I am tired of fighting. I am tired of coming against and binding and rebuking. But I'm telling you, precious standards of God, it works. If you don't give up, it works. I remember, and many of you all have heard me share this. I remember a few years back. When I was being tormented day after day and night after night. And it, it went from being all night to all day. And I'm telling you, I had no peace. I had no peace until I put my foot down. And I began to say enough is enough. I will no longer be tormented. You know, I was young. This was years. This was, oh goodness, this had been around 2010, something like that, 2000, yeah, 2009, 2010. And you know, I I was, wasn't was familiar with warfare, you know, and I felt that the enemy was trying to bully me. That's how the enemy works. The enemy will come and try to test you and pick a fight with you especially when they know that you are not experienced with warfare i'm telling you demons have a personality they have a sense of, of humor they will come and bully you and they will try to come against those who they feel are weak you have to put them in their place you have to make them respect you you know when there were the sons of Scevia that were casting out demons many of you all know the stories in the book of acts about these men you know they they called themselves exorcists and they went about trying to cast these demons out of this man the bible tells us and you know they said we command you to come out in the name of the god that paul served in the name of in the name and these men tried to use the name of the Lord Jesus in their incantation saying that we command you in the name of Jesus whom Paul preaches to come out. And the Bible says that the seven sons of Sceva and a leading priest were doing this. But it was this one time they tried it, the evil spirits replied say that the evil spirit says we know jesus and we know paul but who are you and the bible says that the man with the evil spirit the man with the evil spirit leaped on them overpowered them and attacked them with such violence that they fled from the house naked and battered and so demons they know you they know who we are in the spirit they will only listen to those that are experienced and those that have the authority and use it well and know how to use it. And so demons, they listen to who they want to listen to. They know who, who is powerful. Just like they says, we know Jesus, we know Paul, but who are you? And so they know who to respect and they know who they can walk over. They have a sense of, of humor. They have a personality. And so when you are dealing with demons, it's like you are dealing with a person. And so people of God, I'm telling you, I knew that this spirit was trying to test me, trying to see what I was about and felt like I was a pushover. And this thing went on because I noticed it started off just at night. The fear would come and the torments and thoughts and all types of things I can just hear going on in my mind then it escalated it went from being night to day you know I guess this spirit was like you know oh we got her you know she's not experienced or we're going to get her to give up you know to give up and become so afraid we're just going to just run over her and so I say, you know what? I, I didn't know any type of warfare. I was not that experienced. 
But I just kept binding. I kept rebuking. I didn't give up. I didn't give up. I stood my ground. And this went on for two or three weeks maybe. Until I said enough is enough. Enough is enough. I refuse to be afraid. Because it was starting to get worse. And I will never forget. As I was in my prayer closet. Praying. As I would normally do. I went against that spirit binding and rebuking. And you know what? The presence of God just began to flow out of me. It was as though the presence of God showed up and caused that spirit to scatter into seven different directions. It was as though it was, it went from being one spirit to I felt and sensed it was more than one. It was more than one. And that verse came to me. They came in one way, but they shall scatter in seven ways. That's how it was. It was as though seven of them fled. You know, and so this is what I'm telling you, people of God. You may think you're dealing with one. You're not dealing with just one. You're not dealing with one and you're not dealing with flesh and blood. There is always more than one. When you find a spirit somewhere, there is someone else with him. There are more with him. And so you have to put your foot down. That's the only thing will cause them to leave. I'm telling you. And so I know this works. You know, some demons, it may take time. But it all depends on when have you just gotten to the place where you are sick and tired of being sick and tired. You know, you rising up every day. You're finding that your spouse is away or this spirit is in them or in her using her or using him to come against you and treat you like you somebody on the street or treat you as their worst enemy you know just constantly vexing you and and misusing and abusing you you know mentally and emotionally and you know neglecting you and and just punishing you this spirit is what's behind it you know people of god one day you just got to get sick and tired Get sick and tired of being sick and tired. Don't argue with your spouse because it's not them. It's the one behind them that's using them to vex you and steal your joy and your peace and, and have you crying every day. That's what that spirit will do constantly until you put your foot down. I will never forget a powerful minister who shared how her marriage got restored. She was dealing with her husband who was unfaithful, who was mistreating her. She was going through so much in her marriage. It took her a whole year and a half to fight that spirit. She just got so tired of it. You know, and at the time I heard her, heard her say that, I didn't understand it at the time. But now that I'm in this fight, I can see what she is saying and I know that's how you have to do with demons you have to stay with it you have to get sick and tired they will not leave until you make them but anyway she stated that it took a year and a half of her wrestling and rebuking and commanding and coming against that spirit she had to realize and be aware that it was not her husband it was a spirit she was coming against the wrong one that spirit finally left. Her marriage is restored. She is ministering. And a powerful woman of God. She has a ministry of deliverance. Dealing with demons. I'm telling you. This is real people of God. You have to keep fighting. Many that have shared their testimonies. And many YouTube ministries. A lot of them will tell you. It takes warfare. It takes really fighting. The good fight of faith. It really takes you coming against the works of the enemy. That will not leave until you make them leave. And they will try to run over you when they feel you are weak or afraid and crying all the time. And you don't know how to use a sword. You don't know how to, you know, get the word of God in your mouth and command them. They will run over you just like people will run over you if you don't put your foot down you know when when you was coming up in school you know it's like a bully 
every day they will repeat the same old things until one day you just get sick and tired until that child just gets sick and tired and sick and tired and just rise up you know and and deal with that situation that's the only thing will stop that bully from bullying them well that's how the enemy works he is a bully and so you know it's the same thing happened when david fought against goliath the Bible tells us in 1 Samuel, the 17th chapter, that Goliath, he will come out day after day after day, taunting the people of Israel. He will come out every day with his threats until one man, one young man, which was David, stood his ground. That's the only thing stopped that monster from coming day after day, having the people of God in such fear and torment. The Bible says he done this for 40 days straight. He didn't stop until David stopped him. And that's how it would be with you and I, people of God. This thing is not going to leave your life or your marriage and let go of your spouse until you get sick and tired of being sick and tired. Until you put your foot down and say enough is enough. Until you dry your tears up and begin to pick the sword up. And demand this spirit that has come in to cause your spouse to rise up against you. And cause all this chaos in your home and in your life. And you haven't found peace since. I'm telling you, it's going to take you putting your foot down. The Bible says that Goliath will come out each day. He will come out each day threatening them. Because he knew he could until somebody stopped him. And that's exactly how the enemy works. You know, it's the same thing happened as well with Paul and Silas. You know, after they had cast that demon out of that, that young girl who was demon possessed. The Bible talks about it in Acts chapter 16. They were thrown in prison because they got so fed up with that demon speaking out of that young girl. Day after day while they would be ministering, this vexing spirit would come in and interrupt while they are ministering through her. And until the Bible says they became so irritated and annoyed till they command that spirit to come out they got so tired of it you know in fact i want to read it in acts chapter 16 verse 16 i want to go there the bible says one day as we were going down to the place of prayer we met a demon possessed slave girl she was a fortune teller who earned a lot of money for her masters she followed paul and the rest of us shouting these men are servants of the Most High God. And they have come to tell you how to be saved. The Bible says this went on day after day until Paul got so exasperated that he turned and said to the demon within her, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And instantly, it left her. And I'm telling you people of God. That word exasperate means to just get so irritated. So annoyed. You just sick and tired of being sick and tired. You are so vexed. You mean you're not going to take it another day. Another hour. Another minute of that devil. Vexing your home and your marriage. And, and got your spouse going crazy. And you don't understand what's going on. You can't find peace. You haven't had any rest. You can't sleep. You just tired. And you're saying, Lord, I just can't take it another day. I refuse, oh God, to take it another day. Devil, you come out in the name of Jesus. People of God, I'm telling you, that's how demons leave. You got to get tired. It has to be a godly anger come out in you. You know, that's what happened with me. I got tired of that spirit causing me to be afraid in my own house. I couldn't sleep. You know, this was years back. And, you know, me and my husband, 
will be lying in the bed, you know, and he will be sleeping and I'm up all night. You know, everybody getting their rest and I'm up all night. And, and in the daytime, you know, that spirit will come back and have me afraid in my own house. I'm telling you, I wrestled with that spirit. I didn't let up. I continued telling that spirit, I bind you in the name of Jesus. That was all I knew to say. I bind you. I rebuke you. You know, I will pray in the spirit. But that was all I knew how to do. And to my shock, to my surprise, that thing left me. That thing left. The presence of God showed up the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, it was as though when the Holy Spirit saw me fighting, he joined in with me. And that is what's going to happen, precious standards. As you step out, the Lord says, when you go, I'll be with you. When you go, I will be with you. You know, when Israel then will step out and stand up against their enemies, then God will be with them. He will be leading them. He would join in with them. You know, it was God who was with David. It was God. It was that anointing that was behind that one stone that pierced in Goliath's forehead. It was God with him. And that's what David said. It's God that's going to bring you down. But notice, he had to step out. He had to take his authority. He had to go. And he had to rise up. The Lord was waiting on him. See, the Lord is waiting on you. And when you go, he with you. He was with Joshua. He was with Caleb. He was with Moses. He was with the people of Israel. They won the battle because he was with them. They couldn't just sit back and fold up their hands and, and not do anything. No, when you go, God said, I'll be with you. So it's like, you know, when the devil come, you step out and God show up. Because God is the one that's going to take it out. God is the one that's going to take him down. But he needs your vessel because you are in the earth. You are the temple of the Holy Ghost. The Lord dwells on the inside of you. And so when you go, he's with you. That spirit will not leave your marriage, your house, your spouse. I'm telling you, precious standards, until you take your authority. You know, I even rose up. I rose up, you know, putting my foot down. I'm telling you, I am serious with this. This thing is going to break. You know, just like the sister who shared her testimony a few weeks back, you know, who shared how she was warring and praying. She will war and pray, you know, with that, that video that I uploaded, that prayer of war, prayer and war, prayer slash war. And that is what broke things. She just got sick and tired of being sick and tired. She had been standing for her marriage for years. Until she just had enough. She went into warfare. That precious standard, you know, who would come on the channel. She had been standing for her marriage for years. Until finally. She took her authority and saw things break. Her marriage is restored. That spirit that's trying to hold up and keep your spouse from coming home and got your spouse treating you like, like you are their worst enemy. This is not human. This is not human. How could someone go from loving you to hating you? Many of your spouses are hating you for something you didn't even do. You will sit them down and ask them why are they leaving. They can't even really tell you why. Many don't even know why they are acting the way they are acting. You can ask them why. Why is this happening? They don't even know why. Many can't even explain why. You will look them directly in the face and they can't even tell you why they're leaving. Because it's not them. It's a spirit. I have seen the ways of the enemy. I have seen him in action. You know, I, I would see my husband and, and we were talking and all of a sudden I would just get this whole personality that I can't even recognize. I don't even understand. You know, it's like it'll throw you into confusion. 
You're wondering what in the world has happened. What did my spouse just say? What did I just hear? What am I witnessing with my own eyes? What is this? I'm telling you people because it is not them. It is not your spouse. You're going to have to put your foot down. You're going to have to become like Paul and Silas. Paul got so exasperated, the Bible says. So irritated. Until they say, come out in the name of Jesus. They called it out. They called that spirit out by force. Everything in you. Everything in in you need to tell the devil to get out and don't let up i'm telling you that thing is going to break many of you all just need that golly anger that golly anger you know and become like samson who whipped a thousand philistines with one jawbone of a donkey or who ripped apart that lion till you just say enough is enough i refuse to wake up another day going through this you know you rise up in the morning and, and you you worried about this and you got all these things coming up against you people of god i'm telling you this thing is going to one day get so heavy you're just going to get sick and tired of it and i know many of you are tired already you're going to have to take your authority that golly anger is good that's what's going to drive out that spirit when you find that you have gotten to that point get ready you ready for war it's the lord <laughs> it is the Lord rising up that golly anger in you. Get ready. It's on. When you find that you are fighting and you mean you are ready to tear off the devil's head and crush it under your feet, <laughs> the Lord is smiling, saying, Yes, this is what I've been waiting for. I am ready. Let's go to war. Because the Bible says, our Lord is a man of war. He loves when we fight. He wants you to come against the devil and take his head off. Oh yes, he loves it. It was him who was working upon Samson and caused him to knock off so many heads of those Philistines. It was God with him. You know, and so we, we, we don't fight against people though. We come against spirits. You ought to get so angry and tired of seeing what the enemy is doing between you and your spouse. Got your spouse against you. You're loving them and they mistreating you over and over and over. Oh no, it's time to put your foot down. And God is going to see you through precious standards. I'm telling you in the name of Jesus, take your authority. Yes, men of you are crying now, but one day you're going to stop that crying. You're going to rise up and start taking your authority. It's either sink or swim. You have to get to the place to where you say, you know, it's either I'm going to sink or I'm going to swim. I'm fighting the good fight of faith. I mean, I'm going to have my peace, my joy. I'm going to have my family back. I'm having my marriage back. I am not going through this another day. Get ready. You, you're getting ready to see a miracle happen in your life. I just want to come on here and encourage you, precious standards, and to show you where you are and where you are headed and where God wants you to be. Yes, it's okay to fight. It's okay to take your authority. This is how you win. And so I am going to pray with you, precious standards. We are going to pray in the name of Jesus. And I come in agreement with every one of you all. I come in agreement with you in Jesus name. And so let's pray. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord God, for every standard that has joined me, Lord God. We give you the praise. Thank you for this godly anger. Thank you, Lord God, for being with us, helping us fight the good fight of faith. As you told David, yes, go and pursue and overtake and you will recover all and so lord god we receive that word in jesus name we will lord god pursue and overtake and recover our loved ones in the mighty name of jesus as for our house as for us and our homes we are serving the lord in the mighty name of jesus and we rebuke the works of the devil Lord God, we thank you. We have overcame the devil by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. We take the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. We resist the devil. Lord God, your word says 
what you have joined together, let no man separate. And so we bind the works of the devil. Our marriages are healed. Take your filthy hands off, you filthy spirit. We bind you in Jesus' name. Take your filthy hands off of these marriages. The blood of Jesus is against you. The blood of Jesus is against you and destroys your power now. In the mighty name of Jesus, we tread upon you. We command you to go. We command our spouses free in Jesus' name. We command them loosed in the name of Jesus. And we bind every attack. We cease and desist it now in the name of Jesus. We paralyze all your works, Satan, and bind them in Jesus' name and cast them into the fire. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost burn up everything you have done. We command this spirit of enmity and separation and divorce to be gone now in Jesus' name. We send out you, author, in confusion. We send you out, you author of confusion, now in Jesus' name. We command this confusion to be gone now in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. We know our marriages are healed and restored. Thank you, Lord God, for restoration and reconciliation. We call it forth in our marriages. We call our spouse unto you in Jesus' name. We call their hearts back unto you in the name of Jesus. And we command the scales to be taken off of their eyes. The veil to be split and torn in two. In Jesus' name, on this earth, as it is in heavenly places. Yes, Lord God, let your angels go and rescue our loved ones and break the chains in Jesus' name and every yoke in the mighty name of Jesus and come against the powers of darkness in Jesus' name, Lord God. Open up the eyes of their understanding. We call them back to you in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare and decree that they come back to the Lord in Jesus' name and walk in righteousness. We praise your name, God. Thank you for the blood. Your blood that sprinkles them. Your blood to sprinkle their minds and cleanse them from all ungodliness. And bring them, Lord God, to themselves. We declare and decree it is done. We praise your name. We thank you, Lord God, for the victory. Thank you, Lord God, that our marriages are here. We call them healed and delivered in Jesus' name. And we bind the works of the devil that would try to hinder them from being manifested. We bind every works of the devil that will hinder the manifestation in Jesus' name. And we give you the praise, oh God. Thank you for being with us. We call it done in Jesus' name. And Father, bless the works of those that have sown in the ministry. Many that have done this. Oh God, I bless them in Jesus' name. Thank you for every one of them. Whatever they are sown and believing you for, Lord God. I stand in agreement with them now. May it be multiplied back unto them. In Jesus' name we pray. And all the people of God join with me. Lord, I bless them as well. In Jesus' name we all call it done. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Be blessed, precious standards, and be encouraged. Remember, this bat is not yours. It is the Lord's. And it has already been won. Keep standing and fighting the good fight of faith. You're going to see that mountain move out of your way. You're going to see things turn around in a mighty way. You're going to see the very things you have said come to pass. In the name of Jesus. Remember that God loves you. And I love you too. And until next time. Bye bye.